I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 55. And today I'm excited to share with you guys uh, something that's going to unlock freedom because part of freedom is freeing your mind first. And in order to do that, you want to be an avid reader and you also want to listen to audios, right? You want to listen to uh, podcasts, you want to listen to audio books, you want to listen to a YouTube, just anything that's going to be uplifting, but also that's going to have information for you. That's going to have knowledge, that's going to have wisdom and understanding for things that maybe you haven't known that can unlock some things that could allow you to be, have more freedom in your life. And so um, I'll I'll never forget, I don't know if I shared this on this podcast or not. Uh, If I did, I'll share it again, but I'll never forget I was in Ohio and John C. Maxwell was speaking. Uh, One of my favorite authors, he's like the leadership guru. And he was talking about how 80% or 20% of what you need is in the book. The rest of the 80% is fluff, right? Um, and, and so I'll never forget because at that time I was reading this book called The Five Second Rule. And I wanted to get to the next book so fast, but I'm a finisher. So uh, like when I start a book, I'm like, I got to finish it. Right. Um, but it was kind of monotonous a little bit because it kept repeating the same thing over and over and over with all these different stories. And I'm like, listen, I get the point. Five, four, three, two, one, go take action. Right. Don't even think about it. That's the gist of the book, right? Um, but, I, you know, so, so I ended up finishing that book. I said, look, I'm gonna just, I'm done with this book, right? And I picked up John C. Maxwell's book. And listen, I tell you, I read that book in one day, right? And then I read another book and another book. And I think within a 24-hour period of time, I think I might have read like eight books or something like that. And I was so excited because I started reading. Because, you know, when you read and when you learn, dopamine is released in your in your it's like a chemical for it's like a happy drug so you know dopamine is released right and so i was excited because i was learning faster and i was reading faster i was comprehending what i was reading because one of the things that i do when i read is i take notes on what i'm reading so and then i look for opportunities where i can teach what i learned right so some of the stuff that i'm teaching you all best believe it came from a book right that i had just finished uh but Uh, That's why I can reference so many books because I'm reading so many of them. And, you know, I I understand that there's two different schools of thought. There's like, hey, read as many books as you can. And then there's another school of thought of, you know, read one book over and over and over and over and over until you master it. And listen, hey, listen, hey, whatever floats your boat, right? I mean, do both. Like read until you master, but then also seek to read as many books as you can get your hands on, right? So you can have a, a, a wide range of knowledge. And I'm not talking about Harry Potter type books and romance novels. I'm talking about personal development, books that are going to improve you, books that are going to make you better, because that's the whole goal, right? So you can learn some things, learn some strategies, learn from people who failed and already been there, done that, and can show you what to do and how to get where you need to go, where you're trying to go. So uh, I, I, I I don't love the act of reading, but I, sh- I sure do love who I become as a result of the reading, right? I love wh- who I become in the process of it. So let, let me just kind of jump to the chase. 
Um, so we've been taught all our lives that we have to read from left to the right. Well, we could actually read starting from the middle of this sentence um, and kind of scan this sentence, right? Because our, 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 our eyes are trained to look with peripheral, right? And they can look from left to right quickly. So so, so I'm just, what I'm doing today is just sharing tips on how you can read and learn things faster, right? Like, for instance, um, these are just some hacks, too, by the way. Uh, I learned this from my brother, which was interesting because it's like it makes total sense. Some of you guys probably already do this, but I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Listen, if you listen to a YouTube video, there may be some times where you could just speed up the speed up the, the tempo of the video. Speed it up a little bit, you know, so you can learn a little bit faster. So that's another hack. But when it comes to reading, um, you, know, uh, you know, like I said, reading from left to right. I'm sorry, yeah, reading from the middle of the page. And, and also you want to use a pen or your finger or something and, and and make sure you put your pen across the word, across the sentences. But but don't feel the need that you have to read every single word of every page, right? Um, you can get the gist of the sentence of the paragraph by skimming and scanning it um, with, you know, f from the middle of the sentence, right? So that's one thing. But another thing is a lot of times the main idea of the chapter is at the beginning of the chapter or at the end of the chapter. Usually there's a summary at the end of the chapter. Sometimes they even spell it out. Like, listen, the points you want to take from this chapter is one, two, three, right? So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying just skip to the last chapter. Of course, you want to get maybe some of the stories and things like that. But what I'm saying is that you can learn a lot faster than what we've been taught and conditioned to learn, right? Because we've been taught one way and, and that's just the way everyone pretty much does. But we're talking about thinking out of the box. The whole goal, put it like this. If if you read maybe one book a month, which even if you do that, you're winning because you're doing more than the masses. But if you read one book a month, but I can read five books a month. Um, so by the end of the year, you read 12 books. I read 60 books. Who might be a little bit further ahead, right? I, p I probably would be a little further ahead because I read 60 books, right? Now, reading and not applying makes no difference, right? I'm talking about reading and actually applying, and that's why I take notes on it. And then I also look for ways to teach it because now it becomes embedded into who I am. And I can I can recall that information a little bit quicker than just me reading it and going to the next book. I'm actually reading it and I'm writing it. So as I'm writing it, I'm reading it again. Right? And then I'm looking for opportunities to teach it because you, the person who teaches always learns the most, right? So th there's always these opportunities where you can grow faster, but we just got to be out of the box thinkers, right? So can we read from the middle of the page? Can we look at the summary, look at the, the first chapter, the last chapter, look at the, the main idea of that chapter? Um, what's the idea of the book? And if we can go straight to um, you know, what that main idea is and then kind of backtrack ourselves a little bit. There, there's all kind of different strategies, but I, I'm just saying the idea in and of itself of, of number one, wanting to read faster um, and wanting to read more. Do you know that the average CEO reads a book a week, right? That's like four books a month, right? 48 books a year. So uh, think about it. Why would they do something like that? Because they're leading a company. So they have to soak in knowledge. They have to soak in. Grow, and, and, and that's the beauty of this is you can pick a topic that you just want to hone in on. Like, let's just say you want to be the master of social media. You get every book you can get your hands on on social media. right? And by the way, I would suggest you do that anyway. I would suggest you find at least three to five subjects that you might want to master to a degree because there, there's a few things that are necessary towards your development when it comes to, you know, entrepreneurship and, you know, growth and things of that nature. Social media is definitely one of them. I mean, it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And once you master that, you can get your message out to more people and uh, you can create influence and do some amazing things. So, um, so, so social media is something that you probably want to master. Leadership is something you really want to master. Uh, learning people, like the psychology of people, 
you know, that whole thought, like How to Win Friends and Influence People, that book by Dale Carnegie and, uh, you know, some of those books that teach you how to build great relationships with people and how to how to how to just, you know, like people have to like you. Right. In order for you to lead them. Right. Um, effectively, I should say. Right. So so just learning how to deal with people in a, in a professional way and in a great way where they actually want to do what you want them to do versus you just want them to do it. You get what I'm saying? So, again, this may seem a little bit like a rant, but but it's very purposeful. One good person to follow around this whole topic is Jim Quick. Uh, he actually injured himself and, and had a brain in, a brain injury. And um, he ended up recovering and teaching himself to read faster. And now he just, te- that's what he teaches. He teaches people how to read and learn faster. So, you know, follow Jim Quick, uh, K-W-I-K, right? Uh, and I'll share more things too, of course. But I just wanted to just introduce the idea to you that listen, what if you could read faster? What if you, what if you could be like, uh, you know, I forget that movie. You know that movie where the guy takes the pill and all of a sudden his senses are magnified, and uh, I can't even think of the name of it. But it was a good movie. But the the point that I'm making here is that you know we want to be able to hone our craft, get really really good at it, be the best that there is. First off, you want to be the best there is. Then you want to be the best known. That's a whole nother thought right there. Because Grant Cardone says the best known will always outbeat the best, right? So you could be the best at something, but if someone else is well more well known, then that person is going to get the get the most of the business, right? Because people know how to how to find that person. They know who that is. They know what they offer. And they will go to them first in a heartbeat because they don't know you, right? Even though you're better than them at what you do. So um, so my whole point here is those are just things that you want to start learning, learning marketing, learning uh, social media, learning. We just want to be a sponge and learn as much as we can learn. And so me, me personally, uh, it's so interesting because I never wanted to read when I was in school. But you know why? Because we were forced to read books that they told us to read. But now I get to read the books that I want to read. I get to choose and pick the types of subjects and things that I want to learn. And then I get to apply those things in my life and actually see results from using them. So uh, it's it's a game changer. So uh, I shared a couple things, but let me share a few more things. You know, part part of reading faster could be, um, uh, you know, just... uh, I talked about looking at this first chapter and the last chapter. Uh, some books actually do have the summaries, though, at the end of each chapter. So that's another big thing. Um, but 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 again, just that using that pen and and going through, not feeling like you have to read every word of every sentence and say it in your head, like that slows us down. But but like I could just look at a snapshot of a paragraph and and read it much faster because i've i've kind of got a snapshot of it and i have been able to kind of see what the what the author is trying to say if that makes sense so these are just a couple of ideas i want to share and i hope you get some value from it because you know we got to get we got if we want to grow faster guess what we got to grow we got to grow and we got to grow faster so that we can be who we need to be and what we need to be in the marketplace to create the value where people have to seek us out because they're like, okay, nobody else is like you. Nobody else does it like you do it. Nobody has this excellence in the way that you do it. And you you seem to have the knowledge and you seem to have everything like the credibility, the influence, all those things come from mastering your craft, reading more, studying more, having mentors, all that stuff. It all works together. But in this episode, I just want to talk about just some tips that I've, I've done uh, now, now, don't get me wrong. Some stuff I do have to read a little bit slower because, uh, you know, it's based on how sometimes it's how they actually I mean, don't get me wrong. I read it faster, but how they actually have made the book like some people, they they write books in story format and then other people, they write books in like fact format, like bullet points and and things like that. So I think that's one reason why I resonate with John C. Maxwell so much is because. He, he actually 
it's almost like he writes it almost for a third grader, uh, where you it's like, boom, you just get these nuggets. These are the nuggets you need to get from this chapter versus going a roundabout way in a whole story um, to tell the, 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 the subject that you're trying to get. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys got some value. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This is episode 55. Can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.